it's an unusual one. It is an unusual one. It is an unusual one. It is an unusual one. But we are live. I got my shades on. Because we're celebrating a little bit. The shades will come off. But I'm feeling kind of cool. I'm feeling kind of grateful. But we are live. Instead of a Monday night, it is your Tuesday night tech and chill show unplugged special edition because we are doing a full experience live hands on review not a breakdown but a review of these five lovely devices and also we're celebrating hitting a milestone 23,000 subscribers people wow 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 oh my goodness oh my goodness you guys have done me justice you guys have really 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 done me justice you've done me justice when it comes to what we've been able to achieve. 23K subs deep, you know, two weeks later. The last milestone was 22K stubs, stubs, subs. And that was on the 20, uh, that was on the 3rd of August. 3rd of August, so just over two weeks. A thousand of you have joined Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad. Come on, man. That's like, we always say when we hit a milestone, it's steady. But this one is extra steady extra 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 steady like you guys have really 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 done me a solid man you've done me a massive massive solid and for that we're gonna go in we've changed the live streaming setup a little bit um jazzed it up i think this is actually a simpler setup for me funny enough but it still keeps the same high quality but it's so much more simpler i did the audio testing so we shouldn't have any audio issues we should be able to jump straight in and have some fun tonight. As always, share it out on socials, Instagram, Twitter especially. Get all your friends and family on that are interested in tech, especially these five awesome new Samsung Galaxy products. And then, yeah, I'm going to give you my full breakdown. And we're really going to talk some stuff as well. I'm going to call out some stuff. You know, it's, 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 it might get a little bit messy, but I'm going to talk my stuff tonight, man, because I feel like I'm in a rightful, I'm in a rightful position to do that. But you know what, yeah? Let me not keep the audience waiting because there's some people in there that deserve some lookouts for. And it says, oh man, I can't watch the stream. Gonna be midnight by the time it's live. Yes, that means you're on the same time zone as me in the UK. I apologize for that. Um, Mr. Williams says, keep it coming, brother. And of course we are. We've got Mr. Jeff Hill in the house. Jeff, always, always in the comments, man. Really, really pushing it out. And then that's my guy, technically T, with the $20 super chat, man. Never missing, always consistent. Really, really appreciate you, bro. Um, I should be awake enough to be able to catch your live as well, man. And I'm so glad that you've got your Fold, you've got your Watch 5 Pro, and you've got your Buds 2 Pro. I'm looking forward to your findings as well, man. As always, one of the biggest supporters. And um, I will be activating channel membership soon. I'm going to do a nice trailer, perk it up. Um, I'm not going to let my imposter syndrome stop me from allowing you all that want to directly support me. Um, yeah, but yeah, T, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Dr. Ofori is early, you clown. <laughs> Shout out to TC in the building. It says, watched your um, live video last week and loved it first time on the channel. You're doing great things. Really appreciate it, man, Mr. Hugsy. Um, Mr. Is it Hugsy? Okay, so I'm bad with name, man. But yes, honestly, appreciate it, man. Um, we're going to review that as well because the turnout, the turnout and the aftermath response of last week's live stream has been amazing. So I really, really appreciate that, man. Manson, hi, live. Yes, you did. The Idris Elba of tech. Yes, let's go. I appreciate that, Charles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hopefully the fade is still in check. Yes. Shout out to my barber, Aaron, man. Always looking out for guy. Um, what would you recommend a Fold for the iPhone 14 Pro Max? I can't recommend a phone that's not out yet. I've not even tested the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's just wait. Apparently, the event is on the 7th of, of, of September. So we'll see. We'll see. But I mean, just to give you a heads up, I'm not really much of an iPhone person. But yes, 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 yes. We're going to go as we did last week. We are going to go Fold 4 first. We're going to go Fold 4 first. Then we're going to go Flip 4, Watch 5 Pro, Watch 5, and then Buds 5 last. It won't be a super, super, super long one, but it is going to be one of those ones where I definitely recommend get your drinks, get your popcorn, get your meal, because we're going to sit through a little bit and we're going to have a bit of commentary and kind of just discuss certain things that I feel need to be discussed 
about this whole review process and certain people's commentaries that I'll be honest, dead straight, as much as people are entitled to their opinions and their critiques, I'll tell you this now, like I've not rated some of the things people have been saying and calling out for, and I'm gonna call it back, you know, and 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 hit back just for the fact that I've put in a lot of work. Right now, as of today, I'm on 36 videos in total this month, if it's not including short form content as well. This month alone, and we're not even done yet, this month alone, I've produced 36 videos in total. So I think I have a right to say certain things about how certain people have been talking about how these products need to be reviewed. Either they're not being reviewed properly or the results are being jacked up and skewed to make it look better. We're going to talk about that as well. And I mean, dead serious. Uh, much love. It's pronounced... Um, Hugsy, okay, Hugsy, yes, okay, Hugsy, nice, 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 appreciate that, appreciate that, appreciate that. Mario Kart fan, yes, loving the content, man, congrats on 23k subs, yes, people, 23,000 subscribers, we, 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 come on, 23k, 23k, steady, but this one, because we knocked a thousand new people onto the channel in just over two weeks. It's extra steady. <laughs> nah, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Man said, Idris Elba, I'm done. Yes. Listen, you know it. Hey, Ben, what's good, Johan? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Feeling celebrative, feeling grateful, feeling thankful that I get to do this for a living at the moment. And um, there's results that are showing that are positive. Steady. But we take it as it comes. 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 We've got 34 concurrent viewers. Let's try and get to the triple digits tonight. It'll be good. It'll be fun. Um, definitely something that I would really want to see people get onto. Um, thanks, Legend. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for coming through. iPhone season soon. And um, yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll be testing iPhones. We'll be testing iPhones. We'll be testing iPhones for sure, no doubt. Boom, 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 boom. So... Who's ready? 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 Here's going to be the format for tonight. It's not going to be exactly like last week, but this is going to be more like of an experience review. Last week, I did a lot of technical breakdowns and technical showcase, but this is really going to be more based on my experience review, my findings after reviewing these products individually. Um, obviously, you know that I'm the host and, a video, host and video producer for SamMobile.com, SamMobile TV. Over 100,000, over 120,000 subscribers for that channel. We just hit 23K on Lover of Tech, which is my personal channel, all under the Lover of Tech media umbrella. Um, you're going to be seeing the reviews of all five products bounced between Sam Mobile and my channel. Obviously, my channel, I give a, you know, I bring enthusiasm to tech, so there's a bit more flavor, of course. But Sam Mobile as well is very, very thorough, and I, I work with the writers to make sure that we're getting things in play as well. So, Make sure you go over there and subscribe and turn the notifications. Show support there as well as showing support here for um, Lover of Tech. But um, this is going to be an experience review type of stream. And we're going to go from, you know, the Fold 4 to the Flip 4, Watch 5 Pro, Watch 5 and the Bus 2 Pro. So let's kick things off because I want to make sure that the replay crew get to enjoy the nits and grits of this straight away. Right. Camera one and two, here we are. Z Fold 4, Z Fold 3. Let's just start off straight with the design. Um, I should have really done a picture and picture um, configuration, but it's fine. Let's start with the design. I'm gonna be dead straight. Fold 3 does it for me. We're not wasting any time. Um, I just prefer the Fold 3. Visually speaking, visually, like if we're talking about visuals and the eye, the Fold 4 is nicer looking visually, one. The beige color is the best color. I wish I had the beige color, but again, I'm grateful that I get this golden sample, get to keep it long term and, you know, really just get to rock with it. So I can't complain. Um, again, we're getting straight into it. I've had I've had it for two weeks. I've had hands on with it before people could actually even see it pre embargo. Um, I had a first hands on with it on the eighth of August, and I had first hands on with the wearables and the hearables, um, both watches and the earbuds on the third of August. And I've just come to the conclusion that 
the weight difference is not that noticeable to me. I like the fact that in terms of packaging, it's more compact and the out display is something that I'm benefiting for that I'm getting more used to, which is great. But at the end of the day, I just like the more rounded, more tapered feel and look of the Fold 3. It feels more comfortable. Yes, it's slightly taller. This is shorter, more compact and wider. It, I've, I've said this before, when you're holding a phone that is the thickness of two, th two phones or slightly under, everything matters in terms of the difference when it comes to um um when it comes to the fit and feel and how it handles and having a matte finish for the metal rails and then having inside tapered on the edges right all the way here fine visually there isn't there isn't enough of a contrast because you're doing matte on matte right but functionally the fold free is better i i, I just i just prefer it does it mean this is bad no no like Take, take the context of the critique of my personal preference and experience here as that. I just prefer the full freeze design and it is what it is, you know? It is what it is in that sense. But um, overall, I like the fact that it doesn't take away the effort Samsung, Samsung have put in to make sure that the phone is lighter, is more compact, is, you know, more um, manageable day to day. But if they stuck to the more, even if, okay, even if they went glossy, but they went tapered and didn't make it completely flat to make it feel thicker, even though it's meant to be thinner, but it feels thicker, you know, it, it slipped It slipped out of my hand a lot more times than I actually would. And in terms of holding it, there isn't enough of a dip in the middle, right? It's not a massive thing, but here you can feel that dip. That dip in the middle just makes it so much easier to just get in and hold open. Whereas here, I feel like I've, I've slipped enough times where, you know, so fold free for design wins it for me. Although this is a nice improvement in terms of exercise and how to really reduce packaging and make it much more efficient in that sense. The display experience. Here's the thing, right? It took me a while, but I do appreciate the out cover display. Um, I'm going to stick to my guns and say that I hope we get to a point where we can have at least a 6.3 inch display on the outer cover display and the aspect ratio is at least 22 by 9. You know, 23.1 by 9 and it's still 6.2 inches. Yeah, I, I, I guess, I guess um, it's, it's workable. It's workable. It's workable. It's workable, but... Um, I've gotten used to the benefit of it. It still needs autocorrect when you're typing, but um, it, you know I appreciate the fact that it's adaptive between 48 to 120 hertz. It's more efficient. It's definitely brighter, as you saw that I proved with the um, display measurement calibration um, for brightness last stream. And um, you know it, it's it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I appreciate the fact that the under display camera, the UDC camera, is a lot more invisible. It's it's it just it just makes me agree with Samsung more for sticking with um, a UDC a UDC camera for in the display. Yes, it's still four megapixels, but again, you've still got your outer cover display selfie to fall back on. And of course, this is a fold product, so you can just click on the selfie, and then bang, you know, you can use your um, rear cameras as a selfie. As if you saw me tucked up, man. I was taking a lot of selfies on a Saturday, which was just when your main camera is your selfie, man, especially when it's this 50 megapixel one. Hey, we're going to get to that very soon. My biggest problem is the fact that two, several things, several things, right? That, you know, not that it's a missed opportunity, but I'm starting to realize that this is going to be a very, very tough challenge for Samsung. One thing that is not a challenge is give us the option to set different refresh rates independently from the displays. I know that's not going to make a lot of sense to people, but if you know one of your displays is at a low refresh rate and you're saving a bit more battery, give just give me that option. Give me the option to set, um, um, what do you call it? Give me the option to set the refresh rates independently. Give me also the option to set the brightness levels independently as well. I'll get to that on the Flip 4, but the Flip 4, yeah, gives you the option to set a different brightness level for your cover display and your inner display. Give me that same option here. 
Give me the same option. I know, I know it probably doesn't make sense to people, but just give me the option to do that here as well, right? I do want us to get to a point where the inner display is using and it is strong enough to use a standard S Pen, right? I, I just want us to get to that point. I want us to get to that point. I really want us to get to that point. Um, and it's it's hard one, but if we're going to get S Pen support, I would love to see on the outer cover display as well. There's one particular hot take that I'm going to put out there, right? Because the battery, we're going to get to the battery. Because the battery has been so impressive, I'm probably going to be the only one that say, say this. I would have given up 100 to 200 milliamp hour less if I could have gotten the S Pen to fit in here. People are not going to agree. But this is this is where this is where I have to let my opinions and my thoughts stand out from the rest and give my genuine thoughts and opinion. I would have given up a smaller battery capacity if it meant I could have the S Pen that's in there. There's 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 just urgent temptation to always want to use the S Pen when I open the cover display. Um, when I open into the end of the display, it, it's just too tempting. And yes, it's as simple as maybe getting the S Pen um, Fold Edition getting the case for it but I, I just i like using this phone naked <laughs> as my north americans would say i like using this phone naked it's risky but i think for long-term fold users like myself that have been using it since the fold 2 you'd know the fold is best experience without a case it is the riskiest thing you could ever do but this is best use without a case and i just i just can't help but not being able to use an s pen it's, it's just, it jars me, it jars me, it jars me. And not having to be able to embed it into the frame, it does jar me. Um, again, the only saving grace with the crease is it's a fold, not a flip. I physically interact with that. I, I will leave the flip alone for a minute, but you don't physically interact with the crease when you're using a fold device, which is such a good saving grace, right? It's uh, man, this setup is so much better. I feel so much more comfortable. But remember, we are streaming this live crispy in 4K UHD. So if you've got the bandwidth and the capacity and the correct device, make sure you select higher than 1080p. Go all the way up to 1440p and select up to the maximum 2160p 4K UHD for the crispiest live stream on the internet on tech YouTube. Those are my only, those are my only kind of feedback and hot takes about the design build quality fit and finish and the display experience apart from that man you know having a brighter display that is more efficient and the cover display is wider yeah i'll take that i'll take that i'll take that for sure i'll take that for sure i'll take that for sure i will tend to the comments once i just go through my experience with you um do it one take then go through the comments quickly so that we can you know engage if you again not mandatory, but you want to see your comments pop up quickly for me to answer. Super chat it, and then I'll get to you straight away. Um, next is the performance. Okay, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is the damn truth. 8 Plus Gen 1 is the truth. And, I, and at this point, at this point, at this point, at this point, bye-bye Exynos. I just don't want to use another Exynos device again. I'm being dead serious. I really, 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 really hope that the S23 series for us that get dealt the Exynos hand, finally, we can escape the tyranny of Exynos. This Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is the truth. Don't get me wrong. Twitter for Android is still cheeks. <laughs> I'm calling it as it is. Look, look at that stuttery mess. Twitter for Android is still flipping cheeks. The only way you're going to have a good experience with Twitter for Android is just use a Pixel device. I've just come to that point. Twitter for Android, when you're scrolling, navigating through, even on this 8 Plus Gen 1 device, is flipping cheeks. My goodness. You know, and it's annoying for me because, you know, let me just retweet this for T. I always say, set in the air straight here about commentary about these devices come through. Of course, um, it, the best experience of Twitter for Android is just going to be on Pixel devices. And again, quick interlude and intermission. Guess what, people? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have Android 13 on the Pixel 6a. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. 
<laughs> yes, Google. Yes, Google. And I hope that actually shows up as the August update as well. Nah, so it went, it went from April to June, June to August, straight to Android 13. Pixel 6a is flipping goated, bro. And that has a better Twitter for Android experience than this, sadly. I'm just being straight, you know, but everything else is fine. Everything else is great. Um, you know, when you've, when you've got things enabled, you can just put it here. Um, taskbar is pretty much also there as well. So you can see, you can switch around, move it. Honestly, the performance of the 8 Plus Gen 1 is so GOAT level. Like, just, just the snappiness of swiping and navigating through, that was one of the things I noticed straight away at the hands-on on the 8th of August. I noticed that straight away. I noticed that straight away, straight away, right? And just how it moves through and everything. The performance, and again, like I said, I'm not much of a mobile gamer, but I did demonstrate gaming. You're not going to struggle to play games on here. You're going to have all the max settings. You're going to have um, best frame rates. Very, very efficient when it comes to the cooling as well. 56 concurrent viewers. Let's keep pushing them. Let's try and get up to triple digits. Performance on this is, 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 is just what needs to be on Samsung going forward, period. 8th Gen 2, we don't want to see Exynos. We don't want Exynos 2300. I just, at this point, when you just hear Exynos, it's just almost like a curse. I, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. More than a decade in now, it's enough. Let's just have Qualcomm and enjoy it. You hear me? So performance-wise, this has been GOAT level. Um, 12 gigabytes of RAM has been fine. Obviously, with the RAM Plus, it's been great. Um, no problems with performance. It's so impressive. Efficiency is what we're going to get to. Efficiency is what we're going to get to. Efficiency is also what we are going to get to. Camera. So it's been an interesting one, right? And this is one of the things I'm going to pat myself on the back right now. And I've still got more to do. Um, I'm proud enough to actually say people can see it as I'm being arrogant or whatever. At this point, I don't care. I've had enough sleepless nights and I put in the work to put it. I think I've pretty much been the only person that has done the most comprehensive back-to-back -back camera comparisons on the Fold 4. And um, I'm proud to say, like, this phone has debunked a lot of people. A lot of people, when I went on Twitter and I posted the side-by-side -side versus the iPhone 13, really thought that the results that this was pulling was actually the iPhone 13 Pro. Shout out to Siobhan. <laughs> My bro, Siobhan. Um, this has proven so much capability when it comes to the camera that you know people people are now fully fully ready to accept that as much as we are still on the road to getting the ultra hardware wow this is an upgrade that really did make a difference to the camera performance right so i've i've been thoroughly I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, the way I've been enjoying taking selfies with this main camera, with Samsung's near enough perfect edge detection, the ISP on this 8 Plus Gen 1 is so good for skin tones. I don't think it's pixel tense so good, but it's so much better. It's so much better, if you, especially if you check the iPhone camera comparison. That iPhone was making me look ashy as hell, was burning me up as hell. Still had great edge detection, great blur, great background depth of the like the depth of field and everything was good, but the color rendition on my skin tone was I wouldn't say nothing nothing from one trash. And what you gotta remember is that iPhone has got the option of photograph photographic styles. So I recommend people with my skin complexion, if you're struggling with skin tones on iPhone, don't use standard mode. Find something within the photographic styles that will match our skin tone a lot better because they weren't doing it. And I, and I give credit to Samsung. Samsung was doing a way better job than I actually thought it would do. You know, people were saying oversaturated. No, I think it just had the right punch. Um, dynamic range was way better. Like the HDR plus the shadow detail, great. And the biggest thing, the biggest thing I noticed, the video stabilization is so damn good on this fold. A lot of people thought I was botching the stabilization on the S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra when I was doing my camera comparison. I, I could not, I could not, this is one of the things I could, I could not believe some of the comment section were actually calling me out 
saying that I turned off the stabilization on the S22 Plus and S22 Ultra to make the stabilization on the Fold 4 look good. What? <laughs> Why would I do that? Why would I do that? That, that? that is so mad to me. That is so mad to me. So let's just say this, the VDIS, the Video Digital Image Stabilization, the Samsung claimed to have improved, wow is it goat level stabilization it's impressive less grain stable no artifacting the video stabilization on this right i think is even better on what i've experienced with the pixel phones it probably has the best video stabilization i've seen so far and that is after doing three camera comparisons right which i've got two more to do with this one three camera comparisons first one against s22 next one against the s22 ultra the third one was against the iPhone 13 Pro. For all the good I can say about this, which is, honestly, I've been so impressed with it. There is a catch. There is a catch. Let me switch to two and three. Give me a minute. Here is the S22 Plus. This is said to have the same camera hardware, but there's a there's a one third cap. I don't think this S20, this Fold 4 has the same ultra wide as the um, S22 Plus. Because honestly, 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 this is where I'm gonna call some feedback. The ultra wide on this is decent at best. It doesn't even come close to the S22 Ultra. You, sh you should never really use the ultra wide in low light unless you're doing night mode and you're doing maximum long exposure or pro mode. But the difference in, in, in picture quality is so huge in the ultra wide. This is not the same ultra wide as the S22. I just think the only two things that they've taken from the S22 are the 50 megapixel sensor and the zoom. And even the zoom, there, I, feel, I feel like the zoom is not exactly the same maximum focal length. It's ah, this is where the eye, my my seeing stuff side by side. Yeah, I feel like the 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 zoom on here is slightly short throw. It's a slight short throw. It's not if you're not looking at them side by side, you wouldn't know. But it doesn't really make a big difference. But the ultra wide, there is a difference. And the biggest downside to the ultra wide is that you can record in four K thirty frames a second on the ultra wide here. You can't do it in four K sixty. The S22 can do it. This can't. It can't. I don't know what the limitation is. This has a much more powerful ISP, right? It can do it in 4K30. It can do 1080p60. It can't do 4K60 on the ultra wide, but it can do 4K60 on the 3X zoom and the 50 megapixel main sensor. And it's got 8K 24 frames a second. I can't understand that. It's two things. And for all my people that are getting actual production units where you've bought it, shout out to you. Please, 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 we are on the July update on this. When your August update pops up or your September update pops up, whichever one it is, please check, please check, please check if 4K60 shows up on ultra wide. Because if it doesn't, best believe it's not going to show up on a, um, on a software update. It's just going to be, that's how it is. So that tells me that the ultra wide is inferior to this. And another thing as well, the cover display selfie definitely, definitely is not on par with the selfie on here. It's not the same 10 megapixel selfie. I don't think so. Even if it's the same, the S22 Plus, even with this Exynos powered um, um, 2200, um, has a better selfie. Has a better selfie. Um, another thing that annoys me, yeah, is this. When you launch the camera, this flipping selfie button is an absolute joke it's been a joke since the fold 2 and it's a joke right now samsung just give us the option to move this flipping selfie button anywhere else where it's bigger and easier to activate and on top of that give us the option to activate the selfie for the cover display from in here pressing this doesn't activate the selfie it activates the cover display, but I can't change none of the functions here, right? I can't change none of the functions here. I still have to press this annoying selfie button here for me to get it active. Just allow me to do it straight away 
on here. Right here, cover display. Give it an option to just press it here to go straight into selfie. Press it straight into selfie, screen this deactivates and I'm able to use it. That selfie button, like for the life of me, it will take me a good three tries sometimes to press it to use it. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. But apart from that, honestly, having your three rear cameras, having your three rear cameras as your selfie, ha, man. Listen, 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 listen. I was feeling myself with my bow tie, my fresh fade, my tux, my shoes, you know, Ralphie socks on out there. I was feeling myself being able to get those type of selfies with your main camera and the bokeh and the depth of field with portrait mode. Boy, I, it, it's just, it's just, I'm glad at least the main camera and the zoom is up to part of the S22. Um, the ultra wide, it's, it's, a, it's, it's borderline okay for now. I wouldn't call it cheeks. When something is cheeks, sheesh. It's almost like there's no comeback. So that's that. We've gone through the design build quality, fit and finish. We've gone through the display. We've gone through the performance. We've gone through camera, right? Software. We're going to save battery till last. And then after that, we're going to get into the comments. The thing about the software is this, right? I'm all for, let's, let's, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. All right, clear image zoom. Oh, let's press it. Uh, apologies for the glare. It's the lighting. Oop. I don't want the light to fall. Hold on. It's fine. The problem, apologies for the glare. Here's where the software... Look, I did I did a software breakdown of what's new with One UI 4.1.1. Um, apologies for the glare. I'm, I need to fix that somehow, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, the thing about One UI 4.1.1 is it really doesn't feel any different. It is Android 12L. Um, taskbar. You can hide it. You can enable it. I love the taskbar for the fact that obviously you can, you know, straight away drag, activate, you know, even, even apps that don't support it, you can. You can put it here. You can swap it around and obviously you can save it either onto your home screen, edge panel or taskbar and it pops right down. Uh, and it says you can't have more than eight apps, fine. The problem with the taskbar is as good as it is, you really don't have control over the apps that show up there. You really don't have control over the apps that show up there. When you go to display and you go to taskbar, right? You can enable and disable it, right? Show recent apps as you can see right here almost like a Mac OS dock. You can hide, you can enable it, then you can't, you know. I wish you had more control over the apps that showed up there, right? You don't have control here. So that's the only downside to, not downside, it's just a slight limitation. A slight limitation to it. Bear with me, I will get to your comments. Um, I will get to your comments. 76 concurrent viewers, let's get it in, let's get it in, let's get it in. That's really the highlight of it. So Taskbar is great. It is still a bit in its infancy. It is great. It's great because when you launch, you can just, you know, power through and just, you know, switch quickly, which is really nice. I love that about it. You know, it, it's, 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 it's just fluid. Oh, shout out to mom, Aquaba Foods. You know how it is. Best food right there. If you're based in Saskatchewan, Regina, Providence, or province in Canada, definitely check out Aquaba Kitchen, man. Um, so that's my... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Admiring that. Retweet. Get people in. Get people in. So software is great. Software is fluid. Sometimes there is a... There is sometimes a hiccup and a delay when you're transitioning from, you know, the outer cover display to inner display when it comes to the camera. There's a slight hiccup. Um, again, I just think Samsung needs to work on really speeding up the camera UI, in my personal opinion. Um, let's zoom back out. I'm going to go all the way back out. 
disable clear image zoom. This is actually how far out we go. Ah! Boom, boom. <laughs> Shout out to the 17 to 28 Tamron F28, baby. Um, so that's the software. The software experience has been okay. Like I said and stated, uh, just so you guys can't see certain information about phone, software information. Um, we've got One UI 4.1.1. It says Android 12, but this is Android 12 L, which is obviously meant to be for tablets. This is the first official device to have it. Um, and again, there are elements of Android uh, uh, One UI 5 beta that's in there because of obviously Labs, which does have it. Um, I'll definitely, when you get it, when you get labs, um, this is less dependent on good lock. So definitely just tick all the boxes. You can have apps that don't work in split view, like Instagram work, better continuation, you know, all different stuff. Yeah, yeah. So software is still right at home if you use the fold before. Battery life, right, here we are. Here we are, battery life. Oops, sorry, touch the mic. Battery life has been a very very interesting one and this is one of the pe this is one of the things i'm going to call call out right i personally i've whoever whoever the shoe fits and if it if it rubs them the wrong way good but whoever whoever's been whoever's been calling out people's battery testing and this is what's so jarring this is what's so jarring about that's not real world Really is a real world. That's real world. What's real world? You will complain if someone uses the camera two hours, three hours in a day. You say, you don't use the camera that often. But when someone doesn't use the camera at all, you didn't use the camera. Someone uses GPS. Oh, that's, that's too much GPS. You're not going to be using GPS that much. You don't use it. No, nah, it's not real world. Every, every single situation is not real world enough. It's either too extreme or not enough. And if you do it in between mix, it's still not good enough. Like what, what more do you, what more do you want in terms of battery usage? Even when I'm at home, even when I'm at home, because, and you lot can see it right here. My indoor 5G coverage is A1. Even when I'm indoors, I'm on EE's network in UK. EE is the biggest network in the UK. And when you're in London, they're pretty much the fastest as well. Whenever I'm testing these phones on a long battery life, I don't even put on Wi-Fi because I've got unlimited data, truly unlimited data. I test it on 5G, I test it on 4G, I mix it up. If I can change the resolution, I go between the maximum and 1080p. On the fold, you cannot change the screen resolutions. And I'm not giving up 120 hertz, especially when it's adaptive refresh, right? So I'm, I'm, there, I'm there looking at this and I'm thinking, what more usage do you want? What more usage do you want? What more uses do you want? Is right here. And, and people are so caught up on screen on time. Here's, here's, let me give you an example. Not every app accounts for screen on time. Look at WhatsApp. WhatsApp has 18 minutes active. Look at the background usage. You tell me what that background usage is for. Phone calls. And notifications management. So you, like some apps, some apps, phone calls. YouTube Premium, look. So are you telling me I've not been on YouTube for four hours in a day? What do you think I do on YouTube? I've got YouTube Premium. So a lot of what I listen on YouTube, yeah, it's in the background. <laughs> People get so fixated by what they see on the front here, they don't bother to click in to see what apps are using stuff in the background. So are you not telling me that the screen off time isn't equally as important as, as the screen on time. The minute you lot, the minute so many people see screen on time, that's it. That's it. If the screen on time is this, I say it's not, it's not gonna make it. BS. I call utter BS. It just it just tells me that you have no idea how certain apps work. And a lot of the apps that you use, yeah, account for background usage a lot more than you think. And certain phones, like my, X, my Exynos 2200, S22 Ultra, background usage was not good. That's one of the things that was killing it. But this is not the issue. This is not the issue. And if you, don't, if you follow me on Twitter, this is one of the things I'd been religiously posting and giving context on to see. 
and to the point where there's some days where I didn't even bother charging it on my most intense day. Here, start a day, posted this when? When did I post this? 10.32 a.m. This is on the 19th of August, right? Tested it, full charge. I tested this one on light profile, right? And that's the difference. Where is it? Where is it? Let's find it again. And guess what? 24 hours later, from Thursday to Friday morning. Why? Just because it says it says five hours of screen on time. Look at the total usage. Where was I left? 18%. What was I using? Look. Look. Front active. Look. No charge in between. No charge in between. Straight down. No green. Nothing. At this point, at this point, if you, I, I, I really, you know what? I really pray, I really pray the ones that were talking the most about the battery, good or bad, I really pray you put your money where your mouth is. I pray to, I pray to the tech gods. I really pray to the tech gods that you actually can afford to go out, buy it. Get a review sample for yourself. Even if you're going to use it for two weeks or a month and then return it, whatever you need to do, I pray you do that. And you, sh you show us, you show us, all of you that have been calling out saying that the battery usage hasn't been realistic, things are skewed, people are jacking it up, profile this, profile that. I'd been using it in standard profile from the dot. I only changed it to light on the last day to see the difference. I pr I'm, I'm being dead serious. I'm, I really... The ones that I've got it, my technically tees, Trenton, I rate you lot. You've got it. I can't wait for your findings. findings. And it's funny enough because you lot weren't talking. The ones that aren't even considering it and are so eager to brand bash and not even give time, right? I pray you get it and I can't wait because you know why I'm talking the way I'm talking? Please, 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 out of every, and, and this, this level, now I'm just on a bit of smoke. Anyone that thinks this is braggadocious, at this point, I don't care. Do you know how many sleepless nights I've had running these devices? Count me now. I've done 36 videos this month, and this month ain't even done yet. I don't have an editor. I don't have a production team. Yeah, I do everything from beginning to end. I'm Genesis and Revelations when it comes to these devices, yeah? You go on anyone else's channels or channel and see if they've produced as much daily content on all five devices, especially on this fold. Don't worry, I'll wait. No, I, I will actually wait. And then you, hopefully you get your devices, yeah? And I kid you not, whoever this fits, I pray it fits you. And if you feel some way about it, let's talk. Let's talk. I pray when you get your devices, you can at least do 50% of the content I've done and a month ain't even over yet. Oh yeah. I, 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 I need to see the people's definition of what their expectation of battery life is when they're, they're not even reading the battery properly. You're not reading foreground. You're not reading background. You don't know the apps that actually account for front and background, right? Day one of battery usage, I'm seeing certain people calling this phone out as if it was bad. And listen, I'm not some fan advocate. I've already come out and said there's so much different things I prefer about the Fold 3. So... I'm not getting paid or sponsored to ride this phone out. Dead serious. You know the phone I'm actually personally looking forward to more this year? The Pixel 7. Not Pixel 7 Pro, the Pixel 7. Not even this now. I, I seriously pray. I, I can't wait to see the ones that were saying this was in real world, that was in real world, this is real world, that was in real world, this is fake, this is good. I pray when you, got your, when you get your device, you put in 50% of the content I've done. Forget everyone else. Go and put in 50% of the videos and content I've done. Who else on the internet has even done a charging test on these smartwatches? Only me. You go and search Watch 5 Pro and Watch 5 Charging. My video is the only one that's going to pop up. Tell me how many people have done one major camera comparison, let alone three. And I ain't done yet. Tell me who's actually gone out and done a three hour live stream showing factual evidence, measuring display brightness, showing factual comparisons, factual findings. 
I'll wait. No critiques, brand bashing, and just wanting to hate. But yet, Samsung are trying. Samsung are actually trying. And as much critique that I'm giving them on certain things, they're trying. And you're going to actually go out and say certain things are trash on day one of the phone setting up. Please, I beg. This whole... Half of the reason why I don't even like post some battery stuff is you lot are too caught up on screen on time. And if you're always going to be caught up on screen on time for all your final needs and be all and end all for battery life, then let that be you. But to me, it's such a narrow-minded, ignorant, ignorant, ignorant way to measure the quality of battery life endurance when clearly this is... My S22 Ultra could never... My S22 Ultra, this S22 Ultra, Exynos 2200-powered model with 5,000 milliamp power battery could never do what this is doing. Please. So, yeah. 1,649 pounds. Would I recommend it? No. <laughs> I, I can't... I still can't co-sign this device at this price. I still can't co-sign... Um, I still can't co-sign, um, I want, I, okay, the top SKU model of the S22 Ultra, I believe with one terabyte storage in the UK is about £1,450. We need this fold to get to that as the starting price. We need this fold to do what the flip did and really bring the price down. As great as it is, and as, as innovative, this 1,600, 1,700 pounds, I, I can't co-sign it. And I'm team Ford all the way. I, I just can't co-sign it. And people say you just buy monthly, but I'll be dead honest with you. The monthly on this before discount is a good 120, 130 pound with your carrier service. With the carrier service. So even then, I, I don't know. I can't co-sign this. Samsung need to really get to the point where they did for the flip, they need to do the same for Ford. You need to shop people and show that the starting price is the same price as the top SKU of the Ultra Series and the S Series line. Then we're talking. Until then, as great as this is, this is still a super luxury purchase that I can't recommend unless you're really about that life. And if you're about that life, this is the best first fold to get, the most refined best finally a camera system that is worthy of happen having it's not a small feat to have ipx8 you know the the cover display is more usable it, it, great job samsung great great job great job great job great job great job right cool all right there's a lot of chat to go through thank you for sticking that's the first experience review knocked out for the fold four I'll try to be um, a bit more calm. I've done my little tech rant for now. And let's just see through. Boom. Yes, tech in Mike in the house. What's good, Mike? What are you saying, Mike? What's good, Mike? What's good, beautiful people? Johan, what's good, Mike? Still waiting on my FedEx, man. FedEx, direct tech in the house. What's good? What's happening? Grey green is nice. Beige is better. What's good, everyone? T, what's up? Huh? It looks greener than in person. Lighting really helps. Yep, it does. <laughs> Lighting really does change it. Um, okay, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Boom, boom. Under the lighting, first time I noticed the green, grey model. Yep. Blue, yep. What did I miss? <laughs> um... Mr. Hughesy, yes, first time I've seen you in the green. Yep, boom, boom, tech him out. Congratulations on 23 million subscribers. Hopefully one day, but we'll put, change the M to a K. Change the M to a K for now. <laughs> bringing love to technology, bringing enthusiasm to tech for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, if it's not that green in real life, that's really nice. Yes, yeah, not that green. It's kind of low gunmetal. Uh, Michael, Ben, you're brave opening a fold like that. Hey, man, you got to be. You can't baby it all the time, you know. Um, what's up, man? Considering most people use a case, wouldn't a case solve the squared off issue? You'd be surprised that most fold users don't use a case. Yes, tech with tech by Jermaine. What's good, Jermaine? Hope you're well. Um, can't wait for the razor. Sadly, the razor. 
bootleg fonts um fonts worth bentley <laughs> wish we could use the pen on the cover display those selfies were crisp yes appreciate that mr ben it makes sense to me you're right um it's gonna save crazy battery mike where have you been boom boom i agree with that appreciate it i don't have one but i agree with that um when i had a fold free never used the s pen because there was no way to carry it around yeah it was a hassle it's a pain naked phones <laughs> um i don't know about the lower battery um lowering the battery for the hey it's a hot take that was a hot take um who naked <laughs> ben you've been to region street yet uh yeah that's where we did our brief hands-on the region street pop-up store is where we did our pre hands-on so i've been there and um it's 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 all good it's all good i don't need to go there again um, Google did it. Actually, no. Samsung did it better. Um, I could never carry the thing with no case. Easy. Do it all the time. Someone said naked. Uh, if the phone dies faster, I mean, stream is crispy AF. Appreciate that, man. 4K live stream. Loving the 4K. Mr. Bailey, Portland, Jamaica in the building. <laughs> Portland, Jamaica in the building, my guy. <laughs> there he is. Yes, while we're on Portland, preach excellence is poo. Yeah, I'm done with it. Lee Taylor Lawrence. That's not going to happen. We'll still say, yep. Um, very cheeks. <laughs> it's going to be two years in uh, quarter, you know. No, no, no. We're done with Exynos. I ordered mine from Jamaica. Wow, nice. Well done. Yes, Portland, Jamaica in the building. Ben with the weather spoons up. You know it. Never knew Ben was a spoons man. Of course, of course, definitely, man. Uh, you have incredible life quality, my man. Love from Italy. Yay, come stay. Um, Bene Gratia. Thank you very much. Uh, Pixel 6a is gold standard for experience for me. Absolutely. Pixel 6, actually, not 6a. <laughs> Pixel 6. Oh, chef's kiss. Taskbar looks so good. Yes, but still a bit limited, but still very great. Um, uh, has there been anything for the release of... No, 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 no. Android 12. Oh, yo, yay, George. What's good? Sending you lots of love, man. Hope you're doing great. Absolute king of content. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um, excellent. Um, Android 12 L. Excellence makes me die inside. I agree. Done with it. Uh, apart from my souls, die. Yep. From a king. Boom. Um, I don't want no lag to my watch. Yep. Um, okay. What we got? What we got? What we got? Watch or phone? We don't have both. Boom. Bruh. Um, facts. Okay. Where we are? We are. Um, rather have a laggy phone than a phone. Okay. Yeah. Samsung is secretly paying you to make the phone look good. Huh. People just don't want to like this device. And it's true. Can't admit that it's actually a nice little upgrade. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Just got mine. It's a phenomenal phone. Absolutely. Mine said Chinese phones are prejudiced. <laughs> Samsung shocked me. I didn't think the Fold 4 was going to be good. I thought it was going to be cheeks. I was wrong. Absolutely. I'm really interested in the Fold 4, but unsure of the color beige. Beige, get the beige and be done with it. People just hate on everything these days. As that, it, 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 it doesn't even go into critique. Haters are going to hate. Yes, sir. Um, Caleb says, was looking for your last live stream and the full form realized you and Sam Mobile, you're the same person. Yes, people. I am the same person on Sam Mobile and Lover of Tech. I'm the hosting video producer for Sam Mobile TV on YouTube, which is a spin-off of their SamMobile.com blog site. The Lover of Tech is my baby. That's me. I'm the same person. I know, I know I'm producing equally the same amount of content daily for both places so it might seem like i've got a clone twin i really really wish planet camino existed for the kaminoans to clone several versions of me one that just runs one channel one that edits one that does be just separate versions of me like i wish i was a mutant and i was multiple man but hey there's only one of me and i'm doing it all caleb I found that annoying. <laughs> T was using an old fold. I found it annoying too. 007. Um, Brian about to pop my sim in right now. Man, sim going in. Color T. Yes, sir. 14 Pro Max. Can bet auto correct. Um, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Man, you lot have gone in. Um, prefer Grammarly integration. No, 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 no. Um, do you have any other phones with UDC? No, I don't. Um, okay, so say, say it again, Pastor Ben. <laughs> gotcha, fire. Some people just want to make excuses to cause you don't want to buy. Hey, buying it's up to you. Are we getting it? Boom, brother Alpha and Omega, love it. Um, I was telling people, just damn wait. We calling it trash on day one. Yep, preach. My man Ben going in. Of course, take your mic, yeah. Ben, we know that ain't happening. <laughs> no, it is. Okay. Well, let's see. Well said, Ben. 
you've been grinding bro i see it with my own eyes people just don't want to see it simo but i've done a lot of that stuff then yep mean screen boom 60 hearts last week men said hard work anybody you can reference <laughs> pre-ordered lovely agreed on a price i think the fold is premium um i'm here yeah here we are with max phone 1000 rest in our pocket subscription i feel like the flip form factor um self boom 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 battery saver mode um i don't bother using that um do you do full-time youtube yes i've been a full-time content creator um since last year october we're about to hit one year very soon i would say probably more from july i would say greetings ben greetings to you episode 66 <laughs> attack of the bens absolutely greetings from finchley my man my fold fault is due to come tomorrow oh nice 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 shout out to north london crew finchley squad um have you had hands on with the nothing from one go back i've done all the videos on the nothing from one that you ever need to see just got the fold for me flip yeah what's up what's up what's up what's good what's good the watch 5 pro if it's not upgrade from what is is not an upgrade from the watch 4 classic no it's, it's a different side step front screen is small boom all right we've caught up just wanted to do a quick breeze and acknowledge everyone let's move over to the flip baby baby let's look at the flip here is the flip 4 the z flip 4 First thing, I'm going to be very happy to say with Samsung, I'm glad you've dropped the 5G off the names. Next is to drop the Z. <laughs> but at least you've dropped the 5G off the boxes, off the name. I'm really happy to see. It's just Z Fold 4, not Z Fold 4 5G, not Z Fold 4 5G. Um, we've dropped the 5G. Flip 4, purple. Lovely purple color. Glad I've got the purple color. Let's switch it up. Let's, let's switch up the background. Um, let's switch the background color of the life x bulb let's switch it up let's switch it up let's let's add a bit of flavor let's go to my blue yep we like the blue cool we'll go blue for this one flip four okay design and build the weight increase to this thanks to the bigger battery i promise you makes this feel so much more premium because the battery size has gone up from 3,300 to 3,700, that's the first thing I noticed. And this just feels more premium. It's still the same problem. Tapered edges would have been better. A matte finish would have been better. That's just my personal preference. Um, but this feels good. Um this just this just feels that bit more premium I, I, it's such a small thing but adding slightly more weight to this because of the battery capacity increase yeah this flip four is nice this flip four is nice um everything feels the same as the flip three apart from you know the slightly flat edges and the slight more weight um the matte finish does feel definitely nicer what's good is bespoke edition is available out of the gate i wish you could do bespoke on a fold um you know, the cover display is still 1.9 inches. Inside is still a 6.7 inch, 22 by 9 aspect ratio display. Slightly slimmer bezels, which does make it a little bit more immersive, which is great. Fingerprint sensor has a power button. Doubles up really fast, just like what you have on the Fold 4. Uh, still, you know, I still don't like the fact that the volume bottoms are really high, but I understand it. Can't really have it down here. It also be too low. Yeah, so it's better to stretch. Um, I like it. 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 It's really nice. Really nice. Really nice. Display, so it's still 1080p as expected. Um, I think it's fine. Um, you know, the, the S22 Plus has a great 1080p display. Let me take it off dark mode so you can visually see things better. Um, display is great. This is, and, and again, this is what I stated before. You see how you've got two different brightness toggles for your cover display and your inner display. We need that on the fold. It has it on here. Great stuff. Love the individual tactility of the display control on here. Uh, you've got adaptive brightness, you've got the extra brightness toggle. This is LTPO generation two. So it goes down to one hertz instead of 10 hertz, all the way up to 120 hertz. Very efficient. I demonstrated on the live stream last week that it is a brighter panel as well. Although the crease maybe feels less in my head, uh, this is where I don't get on with the on uh, with the flip. I have to always retrain my thumb to be just that bit lower so I don't interact with it. But Regardless, I still interact with the crease a lot more on the flip. And it, it is 
It is irritating to me. I can't, I can't get over it. The another thing that I don't like is the haptics are just the haptics. Like I said, the haptic feedback are not as bad as on the S twenty one FE. But if I put it on the scale to the weakest haptics, the S twenty one FE and the base model S twenty two. This is not even in the middle. This is below the middle, getting more closer to the S21 FE. I, I, I'm, I'm just about okay with the haptic feedback on this. Just about. Just about okay with the haptic feedback on this. So that's just another thing to consider for me. Um, but design, build, fit and finish, display experience. It's not bad. It's not bad. Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Performance A1. Again, you still only get an 8 gigabyte RAM option, but there is a 512 gig. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, right? $999. This is also $999 and it doesn't come with 12 gigabytes of RAM like it used to back in the day. So I'm okay with it. I love the fact that it's got the 8 plus Gen 1. If you're a mobile gamer, you're not going to have a problem with it. Day to day, this is so much more zippy. You know, it, it's 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 great. The 8 plus Gen 1 is, is GOAT level stuff. I want to see it on everything going forward for Samsung. Qualcomm all the way. We don't want to see Exynos. Same thing translates here camera now there is a camera comparison that is coming between these two i've got a base model s22 but they're effectively the same i'm gonna do uh, i've got the samples ready i just need to edit it then i'm gonna do this these two then i'm gonna do there's three more camera comparisons coming these two right fold four fold three camera comparison Flip 4, Fold 4 camera comparison. And then I've already got this one sorted. I just need to edit it now and do the commentary. Um, doing a camera comparison between the two. This is where my hot take comes in. Samsung, you're not going to like me saying this. And I get the demograph of what the flip is about, even at this price point. I still want you to figure out how I can get a 3x dedicated optical zoom on here. Even if it's 8 megapixels, I still want a dedicated optical zoom on a flip device. Dead serious. I'm too much of a tourist of the world to not need at least no less than a 3x dedicated optical zoom, in my personal opinion. So for the price, it's going to be a challenge, but maybe get rid of the flash somehow. Whatever it is that you need to do, I'm sorry, you need to figure out how to do a triple camera on here. You need to figure out how to do a triple camera on here. And I, and I know I know it's it's a very unpopular opinion. This is my experience of you. I'm going to be giving hot takes. This needs to still somehow have a triple camera system. Because as much as the main camera hardware has improved, right, because the sensor size is bigger, it's 1.8 microns, ultra wide is near enough the same, stabilization has seen the same great improvements to it like the Fold 4. Um, I, I still, I still want to see a triple camera. And what's annoying is the cover display camera UI, right? Doesn't orientate. Oh, come on. What am I doing? It doesn't orientate properly. Right. The orientation still stays in vertical. Like if I start recording, look, the timer still stays in a vertical position. It doesn't orientate properly. It doesn't change. Even if I change it. And initially, and even this doesn't change the aspect ratio. You're just zooming in. I mean, the end results will be in the right aspect ratio. I showed this before, but they need to optimize the cover display um, prompts to orientate vertically like you would do on a normal phone. It doesn't do that on the cover display. Apart from that, the camera as a standalone, as I showed pictures online with the Flip 4 and the Fold 4 when I was in the car, um, uploading the camera comparison before it flopped and I had to take it down and put it back up again. Um, the cam being able to use, being able to use your main camera as a selfie, goat level stuff, goat level stuff. You know, the quality is way, way, way better than you would get on any in the display um, selfie. So it's good to have that. Love it. Battery life. Now, this has been on the lighter side of things when it comes to battery but nonetheless this is probably the first flip series device where i can gladly say you do not have to worry about battery life 
you do not have to worry about battery life. And again, I'm not going to repeat myself. Don't get caught up on screen on time. But I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, the battery life experience on here will get you through the day. And it's probably the first flip device that I can, I can easily comfortably say that, hey, it's in a very, very solid and good place. Software is the same. Again, it's One UI 4.1.1. Bloody hell. Uh, I had this user from the channel. Okay. Um, battery life is great. This is the third. The, the battery is, is several things. Battery capacity increase, 8 plus Gen 1, and a more efficient display, and potential optimizations. This, although it has the same battery capacity as the base model S22, it makes the S22 look like a joke. This is excellent battery life. Charging speeds are a bit strange. I, it, it does support Samsung 25 watt charging, but again, I think because the batteries are split in two, Samsung split batteries. I think one battery at the top is bigger than the other or one or the other way around. I don't think it's optimized well for split because for 3,700 milliamp hour battery on 25 watts, it should really be really charging in an hour, but it, take, it takes about an hour and 28 minutes. I did the charging test on the Sam Mobile um, 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 channel. I'll probably repurpose it on my channel when I get a chance and I come back from Berlin. But um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That is pretty much it. That is the Flip 4. Flex Hinge works fine. I'm Team Fold, but this is still easily the most recommended folding device. And Samsung have done it again. They've knocked it out twice. And they've proven a lightning can strike twice. And this is going to make them good, good money. All right. Watch 5 Pro. But before we do the Watch 5 Pro, refill. And then let's go here. Okay. Would you recommend the One More Evo or the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro? One More Evo. One major oversight on a Buds 2 Pro for the price that I can't recommend. Purple looks white like iPhone. I wish I had square edges. It's called the Z as in... No. We say Z. Don't, please don't start with that. Love the Flip 4 except the glossy squared off frame. Same Flip 3. Um, the Flip 3 frame was perfect. Absolutely same with the Fold 3. I would argue that the Flip devices are not justified because of the fact that the screen is so small and, and we have smartwatches. Nah, nah, nah. I don't agree with that. Meh, I think haptics were was better for me on the S21 Ultra instead of the S22. That's true. That's definitely true. Um, have you used... Um, oh, no. Samsung skipped out on the haptics on the flip. No, they didn't skip out. It's the same as before. Yes, and, and it's a space restriction thing. That hinge takes up a lot more space than people think. Um, they signed a contract with Snapdragon to get all their phones. Yes, damn right. And I, 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 I can't wait for it. Um, should try cover screen OS, makes it way more useful. Interesting. Um, how about Anthony Joshua? I used to be eight. Nah, honestly, you lot leave Joshua alone, man. He's getting memes. It's like I'm 18 stone. I'm heavy. It's a lot of work. I'm not 14 stone. <laughs> He's still our champ though, but ew, shout out to Usyk, man. Usyk, Usyk was, was on smoke. Um, or ultra can, can, they can put one on it like uh, a similar iPhone design. Yeah, I agree. It might eat up into the cover display. The cover display will become even smaller. Software up there, no. Okay, they should increase the cover display. Yes, it's just going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of work. You should always get a skin to cover the glossy edges. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best way. Um, They can... Okay, boom. 13 Pro. Anyway, we're talking about devices that ain't here. All right, cool. <laughs> Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Firstly, 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 firstly. I'm borderline in between. I don't mind to I really don't like this debuckle sports band, right? Firstly, when you first set it up, that's it. You know, when you're charging it, as I demonstrated in my Watch 5 Pro review for Sam Mobile, which I will be dropping a review on my channel probably tomorrow. Um you know, that's it. You set it up once, but it just feels uncomfortable, man. It's sticky to the skin. It's uncomfortable. Like, bro, 
And apparently, just these debuckle sports fans at least eighty pounds or something like that. I, I get it. I get it. You know, you set it up once. You don't have to tie it again. It's magnetic. Um, you don't have to take it all the way off to charge it again. But just be warned, there's a funny news on this that because of the nature of the debuckle, if you want to use reverse wireless charging on your smartphone to charge this, you can't do it with the bands on. You have to take the bands fully off to be able to reverse wireless charge it on your smartphone. No issues on a Watch 5. That's an issue on here as well. Um, I'm, I do miss the rotating bezel. Just for preface, I'm not much of a watch person. I'm not much of a watch person, right? The debuckle sports band, I would personally change it. It's just too sweaty. It leaves marks. It's, I've not agreed with it. Fine, you set it up once. You know, you don't have to set up again. If you want to reverse wireless charging, you have to set up again. If your wireless charge is different, you probably have to set up again. And when you're setting up, it's a pain. This latch here can really, really catch on your fingers. It's painful. Um, I do miss the rotating bezel. Um, the vir the virtual one is fine. You can see that sometimes there is a slight catch up delay, but because of the in curve, you know, it, it allows you to kind of guideline rough move around it because there is an in curve there. Um, the design is fine. Again, like I said, I don't know why and how these micro scratches occurred. That doesn't inspire me for the durability of this shell. So I pray anyone else that has this, you know, gray titanium one, you don't get micro scratches like this. Um, it feels well balanced. It is a thick boy. The performance of it works zippy fine. That's no different. What was the real acid test of this, right? The real acid test of this was the battery life. Let me just let me just say this in the in the best compliment way ever. This thing does not want to die. My this thing doesn't want to die, right? Here's where we are. Look at it. 22%. And it's basically saying it's got another day left. How many days have we been on this thing already? Three days and a half. This battery life is insane. And this is me using with always on display, screen time out of one minute, auto brightness off. This thing, this thing just doesn't, this battery life is insane. If you are a proper, proper stickler for battery management, this will do one week, no issue. If you're someone like me that's reckless because I was just testing it recklessly, four hours, no issue. Four days, no issue. Five days, in between, no issue. This this is goat level status for a smartwatch. This is the kind of, this is the kind of battery life we wanted from a smartwatch, having all the features. You know, I've used it to track my sleep detection. You know, over heart rate. I'm thoroughly, 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 thoroughly impressed with the battery life. If this is the one main thing this needed to prove as a pro smartwatch, it is more. It has more than proved it more than exceeded my expectations and as someone that is not really a watch person to be this impressed with the watch 5 pro's battery with all the features enabled notifications coming in always on display on maximum screen timeout maximum brightness the speed and fluidity controls heart rate monitoring sleep tracking ah <laughs> what can i say the only thing just to be aware is that the temperature sensor that's in here doesn't work yet apparently it's a skin measuring temperature and it doesn't work yet it's not active it probably needs a software update so just bear in mind if you are a watch person i personally wouldn't spend 470 pounds on this lte model is 520 i wouldn't spend 470 on a smartwatch i'm not really a watch person but if you're someone that values this yeah and you are worried about the battery life don't this this is this is goat level status when it comes to battery endurance wow 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 well done, Samsung. Well done, Samsung. If this is the platform with that nearly 600 milliamp hour battery in here, and you can get to a three nanometer process for the chipset that goes in here, the next two generations, boy, you're laughing. Watch 5 Pro. And 
I'll be honest, I've not really used the Watch 5 that much because the Watch 5 Pro, it's it's been hard to wear two watches. But let's just let's just say that everything's the same. The only thing I can't really say is obviously you don't get the dedicated turn by turn outdoor rugged features that you get on here, which I don't do that anyway. This is a one day and a half battery life, right? But what does impress me about both these is fast charging. Again, I'm the only crazy person that's actually done a full charging test video on both these watches. Go watch on the Sam Mobile website, on the Sam Mobile YouTube channel. Um, I'll probably repurpose it for my channel when I get time. But yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed. One hour and 28 minutes to charge the full on a watch 5, 40 millimeter, which has a 284 milliamp hour battery. And this having double the battery capacity, this charged to 100% in basically two hours. Very, very impressed. And I think it would have charged maybe an extra 10 minutes faster if I didn't actually have the watches on and I didn't leave the always on display on. So worst case scenario, this is great fast charging. It charges up so quickly, very impressed. One hour, 55% on this. Um, very, very, very impressed. Very impressed, very impressed, very impressed, very impressed. Watch 5 Pro, 299 pounds, 469 pounds. This is the most common one to get. This, if you really, really value multi, a true multi-day battery life experience. Well done, Samsung. You've, for your first Pro smartwatch, you've knocked it out of the pack. Buds 2 Pro. Everything remains the same. These are some of the best sounding, truly wireless earbuds that I've experienced so far. Bass, loudness, and clarity. I love the dynamic equalizer. Touch controls are excellent. Um, 3D, 360 audio is, it's a nice fun party trick, but I wouldn't leave that on all the time, especially with head tracking. I would leave it off most times. Very, very loud, almost too loud in some ways, if I'm gonna be very honest with you, even for someone like me that doesn't really have that great of a hearing. 229 pounds. I can't recommend these because they don't have auto pause and play. Let me show you Samsung's definition of auto pause and play. Right, it's 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 absolutely terrible. Anyone that makes excuses for how terrible this auto pause and play is, right? We're gonna have words. I'm gonna put this in just so you can see. It should connect. You should be able to see it here. Boss Two Pro connected. Active noise cancelling is on. Right. Okay, switch to other devices, that's fine. I'm gonna pray, play Yebba's Heartbreak. Been feeling this song. Let me turn down the brightness. Okay. If you take one out, it doesn't stop, okay? So it doesn't support it, there's no settings to enable it. It stops playing when you take out the second one and you notice that it stops playing, right? You have to take out both earbuds for it to stop playing. That is so silly. And then when you put it back and you put it back, please tell me if it continues. Don't worry, I'll wait. And don't worry, I'm gonna spoil it for you. It doesn't. You have to press it for it to continue. How are you gonna have earbuds this great sounding, this good for active noise cancelling, over 200 pounds, and there isn't an option to enable auto pause and play? My, one, my basic one more earbuds have an option in the app to allow me to enable auto pause and play, enable just auto pause or disable it altogether. And you are telling me for 230 pounds, I cannot have this feature on this. That is just so whack. That is so, so, so whack. And for people that don't, don't understand, this is the Pixel Buds Pro. Let's put the, let's put the Pixel Buds Pro on. This is such a, Basic feature that's been there since 2016. Basic. Oh, 
is paired. Let me see if it's paired to my Samsung. Hold on. Sometimes it's just all over the place where it's paired up. Pixelbox Pro. Okay, so we've paired it to the S22 Ultra, right? Here. Okay. Right, we're going to go into it and we're doing the same again. Yeba's yeah, Heartbreak. Let me just turn down the brightness so it's easy for you to see. Play it. So you can see that it's playing. I'm going to take one out. Stops. Simple. Put it back. Continues. Take one out. Pauses. Put it back. Continues. The Buds 2 Pro not having auto pose and play, you cannot make excuses for that. That is flipping whack. And that's it. That is all I've got to say about that. Uh, and I'm not taking my words back. There's no way I'm ever paying for any earphones more than 150 pounds for it not to have auto pause and play. Samsung, you are crazy for that. I, I dead, dead serious. I'm not even going to be making excuses for this because this is a review sample I get to keep. I do not care. No one. <laughs> dust off, dust off, dust off, dust off. And um, that's pretty much it, people. That is pretty much it. Let's bring the lineup back in. I wanted this to be a, a, a mini movie tonight, not the full Snyder Cut. But um, these are, these are it. These are the boys. These are the boys. These are the boys right here. These are the boys. And yeah, we were an hour and almost an hour and a half in. We're just going to have some fun. We're going to have some vibes and we're going to chill. We're going to look through the content that we produce. We're going to go through the comments. And then, um, yeah, pretty much just funnel you guys to just go watch your content and show some love and also celebrate 23K subs. But that's been my full two weeks experience with you with all these lovely five devices. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely privileged and grateful to be in this position to be able to, you know, use these devices. But that's one of the reasons why I've gone as hard as I've gone. You know, I've, 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 I've had a lot of sleepless nights. I've gone, I've been as thorough as possible. This is review week. So... Is to catch all my reviews, they're going to be staggered. Subscribe to both Sam Mobile and Lover of Tech. You're going to be seeing reviews for each of them. Drop in. And um, yeah, man, that's the five man on Pat Squad for August 2022, summertime. Let me drink a bit of water and we're going to go through your comments. I'm so happy with this particular live stream, man. This is this setup is so much easier, so much more comfortable. Um, so much more efficient as well and the quality is still up there which is very very much important to me never want to sacrifice the quality yes Anthony just needs a new coach in my opinion hello mate man I like this band <clears throat> I hope so bro I, I, I've not gone on with it and I would, I would rather change it yeah that band is dope mm, uh, not for me <laughs> early bird maybe the chassis uh, the classics okay cool Um, let's hope six classic maybe uh, the better option, I think, would be Extreme Sports. Yeah, maybe. Weird how other channels complain about the battery on the Watch 5 Pro. What? Watch 5 Pro is insane for battery. Uh, I just got a Watch 5 Pro and a 5 normal today. Flip 4 buds in two days. Nice. Nice. Currently watching on this on the Flip 4. Yay, yay. Giovanni. Nice. Nice, sir. Yes, I'm going to 30 day. Okay, nice. Nice. Um, customize my flip four this year. Nice bespoke edition. Oh yeah, couple of weeks. You gotta wait. Can't wait to get these Bus Two Pro. The battery life is great. So I'm my biggest complaint of the. Yep, yeah, battery life is excellent. I'm getting those regardless. Buds Live comparison. I don't have the Buds Live, and I won't be. Samsung feels so bad with auto pause and play. I can't even use them. The Buds Pro for me, and and, and ah, I don't blame you, T. It's inexcusable. Yeah, I think I'm going with the Pixel Buds Pro this year. Pixel Buds Pro are, are nice. Um, update like this, let's, a firmware can probably take care of this. Oh, no, not probably. A, a firmware has to take care of this. Hard attempts on a Watch 5 Pro, they're fine. 
um they're fine uh, i've not had any temperature issue uh, i don't even think of it with something update because it was never worked on the app that's true it's not a basic feature that <laughs> exactly samsung dropped the ball on that absolutely they did that's why i never liked them yep you're returning mt i suspect the bus pro can fix yeah they need to get that fixed quick i've got them basically for free so i'm holding on to them you get them for free fine but if you get them for free fine because the audio and the bass and the clarity and EQ control are better than the Pixel Buds Pro. That's what's so frustrating. The touch controls are probably slightly better on the, on, the, on the Pixel Buds Pro, but the touch controls are still good. And the fact that the case is softer touch and more compact, every, it's, 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 they, they dropped the ball on that one, man. I'm glad um, I didn't add it into my cart. Yeah, don't buy it full price. I'm sorry. Just don't. Facts. Can be any worse link buds, no wireless charging, motor point connection. Yep, yep. Call them out. Um, would that be an issue? The bots, yeah, it needs to be fixed. Andy, I honestly don't think so. I hope so. Yes, Trenton, what's good? I feel like the knights are going to come for me. Good, good. Let them come. Let them come. Soak in the tears. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come through. Let them flipping come through. Oakley doke, Oakley doke, Oakley doke. Let's have a quick catch up in terms of content and what we've created um, across the board. We are gonna switch to, of course, here, lover of tech, baby. How have we been? How have we been? How have we been? How have we been? Obviously last week, the week before that, um, we, we've been going through the motion. Um, let's just refresh. Um, we had a milestone today, obviously. Last week's stream is still getting numbers. I chapted it and everything. I'm going to do the same for this one so the replay crew can really... Um... Oh, so let me just remove the chat. Um, the replay crew can enjoy it as well. And wow, wow. A live stream to get 8.6K views and it's almost three hours long. Um, I'm really proud of this one, man. I'm really, really proud of this one. I love live streams like this, man. They're, they're fun high quality and and they just really allow me to just elaborate and not be confined to what is already kind of like a long form video of somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes as i usually like to do but you get to really just unscript go off head go off the cusp and really just express act of all have fun and really get to rant and not be penalized for it as well and you know retention rate is a lot more forgiving when it comes to these live streams as well first camera comparison that we did the z44 versus the s22 plus Again, definitely go watch that man. I've timestamped it and everything. Um, really, really proud of that camera comparison. Then back to back to back, we did it. We did this with the Ultra, did that. I'm so annoyed with the iPhone one because again, there was an error with the export in. The iPhone was getting mad crazy views. I had to take that original one down, do a re-upload. And unfortunately the re-upload hasn't gained as much traction, which is quite sad. Um, but this one is against the iPhone 13 Pro. I've got two more camera comparisons to the Fold 4 coming up, which is obviously going to be against the Flip 4 as well as the Fold 3. And I would, in my personal opinion, have done the most comprehensive set of camera comparisons on the Fold 4 on Tech YouTube, which is something I'm personally really proud of, especially the format of it, which is, I think I've figured out a way to capture enough of everything that covers everything, make it detailed, commentate it properly, and still make it concise and have a structured formula. Um, shout out to the 14 inch MacBook Pro. The way I'm editing these camera comparisons, my PC could never, even with the specs my PC has, could never edit these camera comparisons the way the MacBook Pro has. The MacBook Pro has been such a game changer to my workflow. Without it, I wouldn't be able to edit it. And even with the circle crop overlay where I'm in there commentating each part, it's something I've always wanted to do for so long. Anytime I did it on my, on my PC, it just crashed out. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I've refined it. It's still it's still lover of textile, but with new upgrades and refinements. And then, man, this this one I'm really, really, really proud of. I'm really proud of this one. I would say this is probably one of my favorite videos I've done this year in terms of production, flow, vibe, and performance and how what it's doing. Uh, I, 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 I captured a bit of... I'm really happy with this one. I think next to my PlayStation 5 review this year, next to my Pixel 6 Pro review this year, 
this is probably one of my favorite videos. I'll probably say this is probably my favorite video I've done this year. Um, shout out to Caseology for sponsoring it as well. And it's always nice to see a sponsored video with an integration doing as well as it's doing. You know, it did it did it did 12k views in less than 24 hours. It finally dethroned my Watch 5 Pro hands-on video. Um it's still simple, but I'm liking the circle crop edit to keep me in the commentary going forward so you can see my expressions. I'm I'm really proud of this video. I'm not gonna lie. And I, I think I think putting effort into a video that you're proud of, you're really happy of how it came out and it's performing as well as it's performing. I really, really appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. So that's that was that was yeah, that was yesterday. And today, yes, we are live. We are live. Let's do let's do let's do a um Inception. <laughs> Inception, people. Inception. Ooh. Watching ourselves live stream and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's today. Two weeks later, a, a, a impressions review. And two weeks later, full experience review with these five awesome devices that we put in there. Shout out to the graphic design, si designer Sam for that awesome thumbnail on it. We're going to go to channels and we're going to go to Sam Mobile. And shout out to Sam Mobile as well. We've been able to break 120,000 subscribers and we're about to hit 121. And it's been it's been awesome on there as well. Um, of course, uh, you know, we've we it's review week, as you can see. We, we are doing reviews back to back to back now. You know, we've done the Buds 2 Pro review, which is getting great views, 20k views. Really happy with that. We did the Android 12 L breakdown. Um, one, two, we did the Watch 5 Pro versus the Watch 5 battery charging test, 27k views. We did the Flip 4 versus the Fold 4 charging test as well. That one is not doing as great, but again, great views. The Watch 5 Pro video that went live yesterday, 31k views, doing excellent. This week is reviews. Um, you're going to see the Flip 4 and the Fold 4 reviews, which are ready, pending to go. Um, just to give you a preview that the Flip 4 review for Sam Mobile is going live tomorrow. The Fold 4 review for Sam Mobile is going live on Friday. I'm off this weekend. I've got family commitments and I've got events and stuff to attend to as well. Um, shout out to Team Pixel for that one. And also the Watch 5 review will go live next week, Monday or Tuesday on the Sound Mobile channel. Then I'll knock out my Fold 4, my Watch 5 review this week as well, alongside the Boss 2 Pro over the weekend, and I'll do the camera comparison. But we've been firing, man. And again, like I said, as of this month, um, it's it's funny, it's funny we say this, but I think there is something called Veda video every day in August. And minus short form content, I've already produced 36 videos this month. So I beat Vader. <laughs> I have beat Darth Vader. I beat Vader. Yeah, I've, 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 I've had no intention, but the month is not done. And I think I'm going to be on at least 42 to 45 videos minus all the short form content I've done for Reels, you know, for Instagram, TikTok, as well as YouTube Shorts as well. Um, that's the wrap up, man. That's the wrap up. That's the wrap up. And, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with this month. I'm quite happy with this month. I really appreciate the support. We just hit 23,000 subscribers today and it's, 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 it's anticlimactic to kind of have that, uh, milestone achievement while we are doing this live stream as well. So I really appreciate the support people. I really do appreciate the support and yeah, we're pretty much going to wrap it up now. So let's go through the last set of comments. And then I believe technically T should be live streaming. T, drop a comment. A live streaming on the main channel. If so, we're gonna raid there. We need to get over there and raid T on his channel. So let me actually go to uh, technically T. Where are we? Okay, there we are. Uh, okay, so in an hour's time, in an hour's time, in an hour's time, in an hour's time, here we are. Technically, T's live stream, people. We're going to put that in here. As we wrap up, we're going to be there. And we are going to show some love. This is the homie, Technically T's live stream. Um, pin. Boom. So that is pinned comments. And yeah, that is technically T's live stream. It's literally the Tuesday night live stream takeover by me and T. T's next up. He's got his fold device and he's got his flip device and stuff. He's got his fold, he's got his watch and his bus too. Finally, man, all I'm saying is I'm happy the people that are getting it. I'm passing the torch on to you. 
let me get into the spectator, spectator seat. I also just want to watch your content as well. You know, I've put my, my best foot forward. I can't wait for you lot to be doing your stuff as well. Get your finance as well, man. So yes, go check it out. It's going to be 2.30 a.m. in the morning here in the UK. 9.30 a, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, EST. Go check out Technically Tees. It's pinned in the, um, the chat there for sure. Okay. Uh, they can fix in software. I hope so. I feel that, but we'll see. Let's hope so. 4K stream is amazing. Boss status. Portland, Jamaica, baby. You're thinking about getting that parallax case. Yeah, the parallax case is my favorite for case ology. Um, the parallax is it complements it well. Not that I don't like the nano pop. Um, the nano pop is is good, but um, the parallax for me has what is what I've been enjoying the most with the um, flip four series. It's really, really nice. And it complements the balance and the weight really well. Yeah, Parallax. Definitely recommend the Parallax for sure. Boom. Sam Mobile Large. Yeah, Sam Mobile better be giving you a raise for all this work. Oh, huh. and that's another politics there. The Beast from the East switching on the Fold 4. Boom. Congrats on 23k subs. Appreciate that, Trenton. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, Frankie. And I think you're just about to hit 10k, isn't it? Yeah, we're close to Using the S22 Ultra, does anyone um, get hot? If it's Exynos, then don't be surprised. Um, 630T, nice uh, main channel, um, but not going on till later. Appreciate the honest comments. I've been enjoying the past few live streams, but I really appreciate it. I'm glad you, I'm glad you guys are all enjoying the live streams. Yeah, 630 um, West. Details, John, details. Johan, <laughs> Ben, go get some sleep. What up, Trenton? Bam, that's it. That is it, people. That is it, people. Wow. So, um, yeah, that's it. That is it. That's it. You've got me for a, um, another five minutes tops. Ask me any questions. Ask me any questions. Ask me any questions. But we are pretty much wrapped up. We're pretty much wrapped up. Honestly, man. Just flipping hide as user, man. My goodness. Ask me any question, people. Um, I know we usually do a technical call up, but how has the live stream been in terms of video quality and especially audio? We've got a microphone right here. The microphone is this far. <laughs> yeah, the microphone's right there. I'm really enjoying having to use the shotgun microphone rather than the dynamic ones for live streaming now. Just boom up on top, boom it down here and just have fun as out of the way. And um, I'm really glad I've been able to figure out how to do this overhead um, rig here without doing the full um, setup so much quicker, so much more efficient. And I'm really loving this, this A-roll, you know, I don't know how you guys have been feeling, but I've been enjoying shooting a roll. Usually, I prefer shooting a roll sitting up, but standing up, but sitting down in this particular config, where you know, especially like you know, with my life X, I can uh, change the colors and whatnot. Man, it's, it's been it's been a fun little uh, purple. Let's go purple. It's been a fun little yeah, cool. They came right on time. Which one are you? Dave, I'm using I'm using a fold four. Excellent. Have you noticed any heating problems? Um, nope, no heating issues. A plus one. I'll change the flip four to flip four for S twenty two Ultra. Ooh, really? Damn. I'll wait for your review on the Bud Super. Done that already. Just go on the Sam Mobile um YouTube channel, and um I will do it for my channel as well. I'm waiting on my fold four, and I've got the free case with my room protector. Thinking about yes. Okay, people. Okay, people. Okay, people. Okay, people. I think that is a wrap. That is it. Again, thank you. 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 For everyone coming on, that is it for me. Hope you're all safe through your time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.